Folks, welcome back to Ava's Flava. I'm Ava, and on today's episode, I'm going to show you guys how to make three little yummy, delicious Christmas treats. The first one, uh, gingerbread cake, then some pasta kebabs. <laughs> this is tickling my lips. <laughs> um, uh, pasta kebabs, and then a cheese wreath. Okay, so um, I hope you put those two front teeth on that Christmas list because you're gonna uh, need them to nibble on these goodies. All right, let me show you what you're gonna need. gingerbread cake and uh, first what you're gonna need for that is a half a cup of buttermilk and a half a cup of milk which equals a cup and that's what I have there <laughs> two cups of flour one egg large egg okay and in here I have two teaspoons of ginger a teaspoon of cinnamon and a half a teaspoon of nutmeg here I have a half a teaspoon of salt and a half a teaspoon of pumpkin pie spice a teaspoon of cocoa powder, three quarters of a cup of white sugar, a half a teaspoon of baking soda, eight tablespoons of melted unsoftened butter, or <laughs> unsalted butter. <laughs> okay, and my last ingredient is three quarter cup of molasses. Did you get that in? Okay guys, so um, I hope you like my beard. Honey, do you like it? You always wanted someone with a beard <laughs> for Chevo. Okay, so first what we're going to do is mix all of our dry ingredients into our flour. Everything except the sugar. Okay, look at wouldn't this make a pretty uh, eyeshadow palette my beard's fallen. <laughs> I'm just going to take it off. Okay, now I have chest hair. Okay, so we're just going to dump all this in here and then mix it around. Okay, till everything's combined. And then once this is all combined, then we're gonna head over to the mixer. Okay, so now what we're gonna do in our mixer, we're going to dump in our melted butter, our white sugar, and our molasses. And molasses is weird kinda because it smells like soy sauce, but it's not. Okay, so we're just gonna dump this in here and mix it until it's combined. So this is nice and mixed up here and now what we're going to do is add in our egg and then uh, start beating it again. Alright so while this is still whipping what we're going to do is slowly add in our buttermilk and our milk mixture and then you'll just do that until it is all combined. Okay so now what we're going to do is start adding in our dry ingredients. The so same idea just a little bit at a time and then scrape down the sides as needed don't over mix here okay once all the flour is in there just mix for about a minute because if you over mix then it becomes a tough cake all right so it's nice and beautifully mixed isn't it pretty it looks like gingerbread <laughs> okay we're just gonna uh, pour it into my uh, I buttered and floured the dish so it doesn't stick and we're just going to slap this in the oven for about 40 minutes all right, so while uh, our gingerbread is in the oven, I'm going to show you guys the next recipe, which is a cheese wreath, okay? A wreath of cheese. So let me show you what you're gonna need. Here I have um, two eight ounce things of softened cream cheese, two cups of extra sharp cheddar cheese, or cheddar cheese, one small clove garlic minced, about a quarter teaspoon of onion powder, a quarter cup of mayonnaise, some crumbled bacon. Okay, so now what we're gonna do to our softened cream cheese, we're just gonna start dumping in um, all of our ingredients here. And um, then we are going to mix it. Okay. All right guys, so everything is nice and mixed here and for a little bit of extra kick I added in a few dashes of uh, Worcestershire sauce okay 
Um, so this is all nicely mixed. Hey, and when I added in the mayonnaise and bacon, that made me think of bacon -A's. Do you guys remember bacon -A's? <laughs> Okay. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is just cover this and put it in the fridge for like an hour. And then we're going to start forming the wreath, okay? I'm going to check on the gingerbread in the meantime. Okay, so while uh, the cheese wreath is in the fridge and the gingerbread is smelling up the house, I'm going to show you guys how to make the pasta skewers, okay? So first what you're going to need is some salami, some tortellini, some grape or cherry tomatoes, some fresh mozzarella balls, and some fresh basil. So first what you're going to do for these little pasta skewers is cook your pasta here, which I, this takes like seven to nine minutes and I got the water roaring behind me. So I'm going to get started on that. And then we're going to uh, start assembling. See, Santa would be proud of me. I'm just knocking this out. I could, he could hire me uh, as one of his little elves. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna cook this pasta and then I'll show you guys how to start assembling them and that's it. All right, so our tortellini is cooked and it's cooled so I can touch it. And now what we're gonna do is start assembling. I got my little nifty skewers here, little fancy ones. I just found these at Big Lots. You can use uh, whatever kind you can find. They're still gonna just taste delicious. Okay, so first what we're gonna do but first, I have to give a shout out to all you hairy men because this chest hair is making me sweat over here. I don't know how you guys do it and I'm dropping food in it. <laughs> okay, so you can do this. Wait, let me actually go uh, with a tomato first. Poke it with a tomato and then we're gonna do a, a mozzarella ball. And then, um, you can do these vegetarian too. I just like the salami. Okay, and then we're gonna thread some basil and um, the tortellini at the end. And then I'm just gonna sprinkle with a little bit of salt and pepper and olive oil. And that's pretty much it, guys. Is that all of it? Yep. Okay, so we're just gonna sprinkle salt, pepper, and some olive oil. And I'm just gonna continue to do this. Check on my gingerbread and see how my uh, cheese is doing in the fridge. All right, so the kebabs are kebobbed and um, the gingerbread is all ready. The gingerbread doesn't need no man. Get it, gingerbread man? <laughs> okay, so now what we're gonna do is form the wreath, okay? So a little notorious TIP is how you get the shape of a wreath is you're gonna get a plate and just put a cup right slap dab in the middle. And we're just gonna start um, grabbing out spoonfuls of our uh, cheese mixture and just start putting it around it like this, okay? So once you've done that, then I'll show you what to do. All right guys, so see, I'm just smoothing it out and I promise this is a lot easier than it looks. Chubbo was back there doubting my wreath making skills. Okay, so once it's all nice and smooth and it's in the shape that you like, smack it. I'm just kidding. Okay, so you're just gonna twist this out and look, see, there you go. And you got your little hole in the middle and you're just gonna smooth this out. And next what I'm gonna do is mince up some uh, Italian parsley and sprinkle it all over. Um, you could use green onions if you wanted or nuts like uh, almonds or something. And then of course it wouldn't look like a wreath. Well, it could look like a wreath, like a like a wood or like a branch wreath, whatever. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And then I'm gonna show you guys all the finished product, okay? So I'll see you guys in a sec. All right, guys, here they are. Look it, you can watch in slow motion because they're so beautiful. And I just broke one of the sticks and stuck it in my uh, gingerbread, which is nice and moist and stinking amazing. And then here's the um, Italian parsley that I sprinkled on and for a little bit of color, I put some red bell peppers. You can use pimentos if you'd like, okay? So another notorious TIP is when you're making that Christmas list or <laughs> shopping list and checking it twice, <laughs> make sure you have all these ingredients on there to make this stuff because that would be mighty nice. <laughs>
Okay, so I am going to uh, take a bite of all of this. I hope you guys uh, like this episode, and I hope you all have a wonderful Christmas. And I wanted to give a quick shout out to my niece and nephew, uh, Alley Cat and Milo, because they watch, and they're just like three, and they like to watch my show. So hi, Milo. Hi, Alley Cat. Okay, I hope you guys all have a wonderful Christmas. 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 Um, Please subscribe to me on YouTube, check out my Ava's Flava Facebook page and like it, and um, I'll see you guys next time. Bye!